two complex number questions. Uh, one is the square root. Just literally get the square root of this number. Um, if you think about that, if I asked you for the square root 36, there'd only be one answer. You know, it's six, that's it. Um, so <clears throat> we're only looking for one answer here. And in comparison to if I was asked this question here, um, so this is the 2021 complex number question. Um, it says Z cubed is equal to minus eight. Find all three roots and you can use De Moivre's theorem. Because you're solving an equation, it's a cubic equation. So at the very end, you're looking for Z equals, Z equals, Z equals. You may even know one of the solutions to start off with, but they're saying, they're trying to give me a little bit of direction. Use De Moivre's theorem. So I'm to solve an equation. So the first thing I always check is, how many solutions do I expect? Whereas here, I'm literally just evaluating the square root of something. Um, both of them, I'm going to use De Moivre's theorem. <clears throat> and you can uh, use your calculator with the POL button to go into polar form. And mm, sorry. So this one is minus five comma uh, 12. So I have 13 there is, um, or it's my mo modulus or how far away it is from zero. And the other one here is a little bit, um, it's a bit awkward there, I suppose. So probably gonna do without using my trigonometry. Um, so if we had minus 5 plus 12i, it's somewhere up there, and <clears throat> this is 5 in units, and this is 12 in units, so we could use tan of the angle um, is opposite over adjacent, so what's tan inverse? Now maybe it's better to go in radians, I don't know, but if not, I'm just going to save that angle. Um, so let's go tan inverse uh, of 12 over 5. Okay. So this bit here is the 67. And then, but it's actually this angle here that I'm looking for. So that's why a second ago when we did the POL, um, we had minus 5, comma, 12, it was 112.6, you know, because we had this using tan. So I might just save that angle. Uh, the angle is 112.61986. Okay. <clears throat> Hundred and twelve um, point. I'm used to the other calculator. Six one nine eight six four nine. I want I want to save this, so I'm gonna store it as A. So if I want to bring that back up again in a few minutes, I'll just store it as A in my calculator. Um Okay, so it's minus 5 plus 12i. Um, if I want that in polar form, it's the modulus r times the cos of the angle plus i sine the angle. And <clears throat> because I'm getting the square root of it, I'm going to get the square root of this. Uh, square root can also be written as a power of a half. Remember, De Moivre's theorem talks about um, bringing the power down. So um, that's what I'm going to do. It's power of a half. So I'm now going to apply De Moivre's theorem. Okay, so we have 13 to the power of a half, which is root 13. 
times the cos of a half times the 112 plus i sine a half times the 112. So 313, we're going to get a half of a, so we want a and we want to get 0.5 of it. Okay, you may want to store that, store it as b, and now we're going to get the cos of that. And we're going to get the sine of that as well. So sine of B. Okay, multiply that by root 13. Um, so this is, I think when you multiply out, you end up with 3i. And when you multiply this bit out, Three thirteen I um so we get a uh, not nice oh no sorry. I'm multiplying rate thirteen by that. Um, 2 plus 3i. So if you want the square root of that, whether you use the polar button on your calculator or you use some trigonometry to get it, you will get your angle. That looks a bit awkward. You could store it in your calculator. It may be nicer if you worked in radians. Um, so if you wanted to, you could change your calculator into radians. And maybe when you use the POL button then, um, it might be nicer. So we said minus five comma 12. No, still not that nice. But anyway, I still have my 13 and that's it in radians if you prefer to work in radians. Um, I used polar form so that I could get into used Moivre's theorem. And then when I cleaned it up, I end up with approximately 2 plus 3i. So, <coughs> square root of something, there's your answer. One answer. This question, it's like solving. So, three solutions is what I'm looking for. I'm going to use Jemaiver's theorem. It says, you know, um, it's giving me the help of using Jemaiver's theorem. So I'm going to get the modulus and the argument. So modulus is 8 or or is 8 and argument is 270 or the angle is 270. Again, if you prefer working radians do. Um, so that's Z cubed. How will we get z on its own? We'll get the cubed root of both sides. Um, I don't know how I'm going to apply Moivre's theorem without um, a power. So cubed root is also the power of a third. Now, if you went on from there and you just answered the question from there without really thinking, you don't need to get one answer. I know from the question that I need three answers. I'm solving a cubic, so I should have three answers, which means in order to get more than one answer, I need to be a bit more general. So rather than just saying, oh, it's 270 degrees, it's 270 plus 360 N. Like, I need to go into general polar form. Same over here, 270 plus 360 N. So if I didn't do that step, I'd end up just with 
um, one solution, which I'm looking for three from the start. Now, if you were working in uh, radians, it wouldn't be plus 360n, it would be plus 2 pi n. Now, apply to my verse theorem. Z is equal to 8 to the power of a third. You know, you bring the power here on top of that, and here down in front of your angles. So that's a third cost of a third times the 270 plus 360 n plus i sine a third of 270 plus 360 n and let's clean this up z is equal to cubed root of 8 is 2 um let's multiply this out so we have cos of a third times 270 um it's 90 plus 120 n Okay, so when I get as far as here, I now let maybe n equal to zero, then n equal to one, n equal to two. So I can get my three solutions. Um, if n is equal to zero, we end up with two times the cos of 90 plus 120 times zero. So that's just cos of 90 plus i sine, same again, 90. What is the cos of 90 0 so we have 2 times 0 plus sine of 90 then I think it's 1 yeah which gives me plus 2i so there looks like one solution um, let's go for another one if we had the cos of 90 plus 120 times 1 so that's 90 plus 120 which would be the cos of 210 plus i sine 210 so that's 2 times what is the cos of 210 Um, cos of 210 looks like it's minus root 3 over 2 plus i times the sine of 210. I think I could have made a mistake back up here, so I'll check that in a minute. So I'll multiply that by that, we end up with minus root 3. Multiply that by that, we end up with minus 1i. Okay, and then um let's go for if n was 2 so that'd be 90 plus 240 so it would be 2 times the cos of 330 plus i sine 330 and that is equal to cos of 330 is a root 3 over 2 so that's 2 times root 3 over 2 and then the sine of 330 is minus a half and again multiply your 2 in we end up at root 3 minus 1i so one answer is that unless I've made a mistake another answer is that and I definitely have made a mistake back up here somewhere, so let's just check this out. What is the cos of 90? Zero. Yeah, zero is zero, that's fine. And the sine of 90 is a 1. Okay, I know one of the answers should be this, so I've obviously made a mistake somewhere. Um, hopefully you get the idea though. So, where would I have made a mistake? Third times that. Okay, 
I'll come back if if I can see where I've made a mistake. Just make sure you get your three solutions um, going into general chloroform. <laughs> 